Okay, so we are going to get Ross 2 and Docker working together with an Ubuntu desktop. And the way we're going to do that is through a VNC. Thankfully, someone has already made a Docker image, a Docker image that combines a, a Ross and a VNC GUI. So let's get started. So in addition, we're going to mount this uh, directory that I'm currently in. Uh, Ross Docker tutorials. We're going to mount that uh, when we launch the container. So first things first, we're going to pull, and I already have the uh, image, we're going to pull the image. And so um, once we pull the image, uh, the things to note here in order to run the image correctly, um, we need to um, expose this port 6080 here in order for the container to uh, run pro properly. And then we are going to use the V flag to mount the directory. And I gave it a random, you know, human readable name, humbly speaking, I guess. Uh, and for this particular version of ROS2 for um, this, for, for this uh, image to work, you need to pass in this security op flag, or once you launch the container, it will be constricted and it will not actually work. You won't be able to launch any programs. And then obviously we specify the name of the container um, at the end. Oops, it copied and pasted here. Uh, so now let's run, uh, I already have one with that name. So I'm just going to be lazy and change the name by removing one character. Uh, so uh, now that the container is running, we can go to our web browser and we can go to local hosts 6080. And we should see our Ubuntu running with LXDE. So if we want to uh, run, sorry, I'm trying to get away, get rid of my recording tools here. Um, if we want to run the terminal, we go to system tools and LX, <coughs> LX terminal. So we can now run, you know, any mini, mini, mo. Let's do Arvis. We can do Arvis 2 here and we don't have any issues, problems. Uh, now, if you ls the directory that we are placed in the home, you won't see the directory uh, that we mounted, the volume that we mounted earlier. So that's because Docker has automatically placed it in um, home slash our username. So, we can go to home. We see that it's actually here. Um, under Eddie M3, but this container has made a user called Ubuntu with the default password also being Ubuntu, um, by the way. So if we want to place the folder that we mount inside of our home directory of our new user, we modify the command a bit. So I'm going to stop that. And we're going to go back to the V flag. We're going to use the colon. We're going to say home slash Ubuntu slash Ross Docker tutorials. Um, and then, oh, yeah, it's going to yell at me because I have multiple with the same names. So I'm going to be lazy again. And now let's launch the container again. And go to system tools, LX terminal, and look, ta-da, our directory is there, Ross Docker, Ross Docker tutorials. So now you have learned how to use uh, this uh, image provided by, I forgot the gentleman or lady. 
So now you've learned how to use ROS and Docker with a GUI and mount volume with it.